Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. Um, today we're going to do a little travel advisory, but I'm not sure that it's really an advisory because if you're a surfer, uh, then you want to go. Um, and where you want to go right now is to California because California is experiencing some incredible wave action these days. There's some incredible footage coming out of there that you can see right here. Uh, rogue waves big enough to, to move a car across the parking lot. Um, this is in Santa Cruz, California. Um, just watching this on the Wall Street Journal. Um, and what they've predicted is they've predicted waves of up to uh, 40 feet. So the, the surfers are out in force. Um, and yeah, you can see the, the action there on the rocks and uh, spilling into the these causeways here, or spillways, a um, lot of debris coming up. Uh, on the coast. So, so what's actually happening? Uh, you got a big system coming through. Um, you know, all the news is is talking about this right now. Um, California coasts. So let's say from um, as far down as as uh, Los Angeles and and Long Beach, um, Ventura County. Um, but the real bulk of it is is up here. And I guess this is. Marin and, and Mendocino and Humboldt County um, towards the city of, of Eureka. And I think Eureka um, is is the hardest the hardest hit so far, or the luckiest. Once again, it, it really depends um, on what you know you're you're into. You're into surfing, then then this is exciting stuff and it's it's good times and you can see the amount of, of Rain expected, heavy, heavy rain, wind advisory. Um, temperatures are, are pretty good, 60 degrees. It's about 16 Celsius. Um, and, and basically, um, you know, what you're seeing is, is this massive storm coming on shore. And uh, again, incredible footage of, of surfers just absolutely having a blast out there as they get towed out. Um, to, to the waves. Um, this is all up and down, you know, PCH and uh, the Pacific Coast Highway. Um, I've driven up, up through there, through Big Sur, and, and uh, here we go, uh, Pacifica, the pier. Uh, so again, just some incredible footage. Uh, unfortunately, the people who live right down by the water um, are experiencing flooding in the streets and basements, and um, that's a clip we saw before. So. Um, let's let's look at something else. Let's look at the the surf map here, and you can see um, just how massive this system is uh, that's rolling rolling on. You know, we can see from Baja down here and San Diego, LA County. It's getting a little bit, you know, up to um, you got the orange here, four and a half meters, which is about 15 feet. And as you look here, as you get above. Um, San Francisco, again, up Humboldt County, hit pretty pretty hard there. Um, you're seeing some of this this pink, uh, even the light pink, which is um, six to six and a half meters, so closer to 20 feet, um, and that's all the way up the coast, um, right up through Oregon, um, Washington State, and into British Columbia. Um, so. A really great shot here, the Ocean Beach Lighthouse, and you know that's a good 80-foot cliff there, and to see waves crashing up uh, halfway up the side there, it's, it's you know in the half dozen times I've been down PCH and along these coasts, I have never seen anything like that. And if we look at the forecast here with the radar, uh, you can just see how this storm is is turning and moving from the southwest. And just going up there towards the coast and it's not coming straight in it's coming in at an angle now uh, I'm not sure if that's better or worse but um, really really fascinating stuff um, and the weather channel uh, showing pretty much the same and the next um, 10 days it looks like um, there's gonna be much of the same so again for for right now, um, it's about 9.15 a.m. Pacific time, um, and we're seeing uh, 62 degrees and, and winds at 15 to 25 miles an hour, a uh, quarter of an inch 
um, is what they're expecting for everywhere and locally could be um, much heavier. Um, and tonight uh, we're seeing rainfall around half an inch. So um, there's going to be an awful lot of accumulation of rain. Um, it does look like the wind is going to taper off as we move into Saturday and Sunday. Um, Saturday is still um, west-southwest, so still the predominant movement from that storm center coming in. Um, again, uh, less wind uh, down to about five miles an hour, and that'll stay the same. It'll pick up again on Tuesday, um, and I think we're gonna we're gonna see some incredible surf um, over the week. So um, for all you surf lovers who who want to get out there and ride some big waves, this is the time to do it. Um, if you just are really fascinated by the phenomenon, want to get out there to one of these uh, piers or areas, you know, be careful, but um, it can be pretty exciting to watch. You can see how some of the areas in Ventura County are boarding up the, the lower floors. Um, they do have these cinder block walls um, and sandbags. Um, it'll be an interesting story to watch develop over the next, you know, 48 to 72 hours. Um, just because the wind dies down doesn't mean the, the surf is going to disappear. Um, there could be more surges. Um, and with the accumulation of rainfall, it could be quite a challenge to, to these people um, moving forward. Again, just some incredible um, imagery coming in of, of how these, these rogue waves and this flooding is, is happening. People getting you know, knocked off their feet by, uh, by not paying attention and folks running in to help them. So let's hope everybody stays safe and, and thanks for watching and we'll catch up again pretty soon. Bye-bye.